I'm in the mood to make a batch of baits. Four offset spinners. Oh, I shipped it out. Dang it. I had this awesome offset spinner perch that I made for a friend. Maybe there's a picture of it. There's probably a picture of it right now. Isn't that beautiful? And I feel like making four more of something similar. I think shads would be good for this. Looking good. Looking good. Let's flare that back up. Give it a nice bumpy, bumpy tail. Oh man, this tripod is not strong enough to hold up this beast of a new camera I just got. First video with a new camera. Look it, you're falling. You can't even see what I'm drawing because I need a new tripod. Hopefully, as you're falling, we get all this in frame. All right. That's a very nice shad profile. Outstanding bluegill profile as well. Tubby pike. I might thin that down a bit. That's a pretty tubby pike. That'll have a gold blade. That's pretty chunky, but. Pike, last and probably least, is a chub. Standard old creek chub. I'll probably keep and fish with this one and just sell the others. Our gorgeous shapes are cut. Now we need to get the tapers going from the bird's eye view of the bait. These are all gonna be pretty fancy. These are all gonna have carved gills. Just carved gills. Everything else painted. That's what I've kind of come to appreciate most. And then applying as many brush strokes and layers of airbrush paint and details as possible with paint. I think that's my style. Tapers. That's my first time using this disc sander with like a batch of baits and really getting a feel for it. Very aggressive.
I had to disengage my little boy hands real quick. I almost damaged the gills. But since I did not damage any of the gills, this is savable. Those missing chunks will soon be super glue and baking soda. This thing's gonna be like five ounces. Time for some wire bending. Gonna start by just grabbing a corner like such as, giving it a, I'm gonna grab it with this because we're gonna give it a whack, a whack. And then slide a cute little bead. <laughs> you see how my clippers are just grabbing it right there. And that blocks that bead from coming off. Slide on a rivet, that's a rivet. And you slide on a clevis with the blade on it. Don't forget the blade. Faced in the correct direction. Gorgeous. Now there's some more bending to do. I'm gonna grab it right there and bend down. Oh, this is some thick wire. Bend it back up. This is some extreme wire bending. So that's all bent up and ugly. That's not how it's gonna look, don't worry. I just needed to get those bends in there so I can start adjusting. I just about broke my neck looking for these pliers, well. Wow. This side is just a bit higher than that side, but it doesn't really matter actually establishing the offset, grabbing one that I already made, and cheating off of it. Because at one point I measured. Learn how to measure once and do it good, and you'll have an advantage, because most people measure twice for some reason. There's the offsetness right there, with the end lineness up here. I pinched this closed a bit. Nice. I'm gonna close that with some uh, fly tying thread and super glue, maybe epoxy for these. Super glue baking soda. Lots of super glue. We're going in the lead. Oh boy. It's always nerve wracking. If you get a little carried away, all that lead can bind up in those grooves and just snap your drill bit. All right, it melted it. And then it just kind of gushed out. <laughs> you guys see that? It mushed out of there. Weird. That's gotta come down a lot. Okay. Now I'm gonna fold it by. And I always make sure to leave a bit of an opening on that fold because epoxy's gonna get in there and hold all of this to the body better. See how it's just barely not touching? I want the blade as close to the body as I can get it and spinning. Perfect. Will the screw eye break? It's a lot of lead, fellas. Let's see. Well, my tool broke. Looks like I'm gonna have to do these by hand. Yeah, that's gonna break. That is gonna break. I need to back this out. That's not cool. Let's drill it out a bit better. And that one is ready for sealing. I'll probably sand it for another 20 minutes, but it's ready for sealing. Three more. On to painting. Sorry if this feels skip ahead-ish, but I've put the base coats, except for the bluegill. Bluegill's not done yet. I'm putting the base coats on this batch of spinner baits. I started with white on all of them. Look at this shad, dude. Like a flesh wound right there. And just put appropriate colors where they belong. This is gonna be a process of building up layers of clear coat, applying paint, making them work together. Way better than traditional painting, dude on just one layer. When you can put clear coats between, you get depth of, you can see layers of paint behind other layers and where they go behind and stuff and it, you can add stuff to the clear coat. It's just way better. They look so good in the end. I recommend that's all you fellas do. Learn that technique of layering it up.
Can't let those flies disturb your work. Don't let them get to you, fellas. That didn't make that big of a difference, but difference made. We can work with that. Got some flaky scale action on the side. Even incorporating some brush stroke lines into that body with the pearls, that looks good. It's gonna bring the whole thing together. Wow, wow, wow. Probably just looks like black on camera though. In person, the magenta goes red a bit and it's just this super, super dark, hazy purple red. The spots go away. I'm liking that. Thank you. What you doing? Good boy. You gained a little bit of weight, Chip. Still a good boy. Here comes a brush stroke. This is important. What am I doing? Down up. Straight down up. I just got a splitting mall in the mail. That's what Chip was barking at. Should I work sharp this? This kind of stuff happens all the time while I'm lure making, so maybe I should just bring the camera along, you know? Yeah, we're gonna get this thing razor sharp. Okay, that is Polished and strapped. That's like subatomic particle popping sharp right there. We'll just use some paper for now, since I can't demonstrate on those. Subatomic particles. Oh yeah. Wow. This is mulberry. It's a pretty difficult wood to chop. Wow. I think it makes a pretty big difference if, you're, if your maul is extremely sharp, hair popping sharp. You do have to be very careful with it. That's annoying. You don't really want that edge to touch you. This was my splitter before, and the, the handle started to crack. That's why I got a new one. This head kind of sucks. It's an extremely thick edge. And it doesn't matter if you overstrike. That's how I broke the other one. You are welcome for that random splitting mall review, but we got some eyes to glue on still. Some dead meat customized. Wow. Beautifully simple. All you gotta do is peel up a tiny little corner and then you can wipe the rest off. That's the best technique I've found for masking fluid. I'm not gonna show painting every single lure that I'm making in this batch. I'm just gonna kinda skip ahead here after this masking fluid removal. I like those marks though on that head. That's beautiful. Nice dark pike. That is a fantastic start. You'll see what it looks like when it's done. Church Pond. We're starting at Church Pond with the chub, the inline offset chub. Yeah, 
This might get something to bite, fellas. That looks spectacular. You can get it to barely move, but that blade's still doing crazy RPM. Gosh, that's got a good action. You can jerk it a little bit. It does stuff when you do that. Wow. <laughs> Morning, fellas. That's a nice body of water down there. I kind of forgot about this place this year. I've heard of some very nice pike being caught out of here, so let's get in there. I got my kayak. Oh my goodness, I didn't hit record on my GoPro. Don't worry, I haven't caught a fish. <laughs> I just got in the water and I like maneuvered my kayak over a bunch of logs and stuff. I guess it wasn't that great of content, really. You haven't missed a thing, don't worry. I do feel like this thing's about to get thwacked. Fish on! Oh, it came off. I couldn't set the hook, I was daydreaming. Okay, that's a good sign though. Oh, I wish this reel was a faster gear ratio. Dang it. Dude, there are holes now. That fish ate this thing. Well, now I'm gonna be fishing all day. I can't get a bite like that and not catch a fish today. Keep him on. Gotcha. That's a decent bass. It's official. And of course, it's a bass. <laughs> bass like inline offset spinner baits. It's official. Be free. Dude, that bass hit it and he swam at me. Dude. And I was like, oh no, this isn't happening again. And I was like, dude. <laughs> ah, we got that fish. My inline offset spinner baits are official. I'll sleep better tonight, see if we can catch catch more. I, th I think casting my bait in this big spawning school of shad, I don't, I don't even know if they're spawning or not. It's a really good tactic though. Oh, gotcha. That's a pike. Oh, is this a muskie? Is this a muskie? No, it's a pike. <laughs> it was very brown. Let's hit the spool. No, 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 no. Oh, little tube of muscle. It's official. Pike. Like inline offset spinner baits. Be free. We did it. This ain't too bad of fishing, fellas. Now that I know what to do. Inline offset spinner. It's official. Got ya. Another bass. It's become very official with the bass now. They like the inline offset spinner baits. Very, very official. Thanks for biting, fella. Right on, okay. I caught some fish, man. That was fantastic. We miraculously got on a lunchtime bite. There's the tubby pike. I kind of like the proportions of that body for a pike body. I know it's not very natural. A pike this length would be way more narrow. That dead meat custom eye though, could not have matched that body better. Just wanted to mention that. Oh yeah, there's the shad. You guys seeing all that? Crazy. I don't have much to say about this one. Kind of hurts your eyes. This one's just classy. Bluegill one's my favorite. Colors everywhere. Colors in the clear coat. Colors behind colors and in front of other colors. Anyway, I'll figure something out for selling these. Oh my goodness. The carnage. Good stuff. They'll be on the website actually. Linked below. Okay, this video's over. Thanks for watching the whole thing. On to the next bait.
dude. It mushed out of there. Cody Pike. Lots of super glue. Should I work sharp this? It's a lot of lead, fellas. Oh no, this isn't happening again. <laughs> oh! A whack.